So my name is Leif Gentoft, I'm with Right Hand Robotics. And we've had a hand here that makes it easier to grab a wide range of objects. We're developing it as a research tool so that researchers can spend more of their time doing the research rather than developing the systems that they need to do the research itself. So there's two things that are important about this hand. The first of them is that we've got good mechanics. So the mechanics are working with you to adapt to the shape of the object. We've got these flexure joints in the distal links, and those mean that the fingers are going to shape themselves around the shape of the object, and that makes the grasping easier. The other thing that's also important here is that you've got integrated tactile sensors. So when you're trying to close the hand on an object, the hand knows exactly where the contact occurs, so it can use that as a reference point for later control. You can see this here if we close the hand, that the hand will close down until I... Uh, you can see it here as I close the hand, the hand will close down until it touches anything. In this case, my fist, I guess. You can see it stops as soon as it touches me. Then I can tighten down around that. Fingers are shaping themselves to the shape of my hand, even though it doesn't know that. And I get a nice, firm, stable grasp. We also have a pre-shaped degree of freedom. So I can go from a pinch grasp to a spherical grasp to a power grasp, and I can grab a wide range of objects. The main interface device, because everyone is using ROS these days, we collaborated with Morgan Quigley of OSRF to write the hardware and the firmware for the interface that all speaks over Ethernet. It takes 12 volt power. We've got the version of the hand out to 10 different labs as a beta, and we're accepting orders for a simple version of it now with no sensing, as well as pre-orders for the full version with sensing for early 2015. Thank you.